with the simple fact that when I left Miami with my liberal arts degree, I had this foundation underneath me to keep reading, you know, to, to stay curious, you know, to want to delve into various aspects of American society. You know, so I, I think that the liberal arts degree supplied me with, uh, with a broad spectrum in which to learn and in, in, in which to pull from a variety of disciplines. I think that's what the liberal arts degree gave me. Writing in so many ways has not only saved my life, but enriched it, and I think, because it's enabled me to meet both the high and mighty, the humble and unknown. It's enabled me to meet the likes of Nelson Mandela when he walked out of prison in South Africa, the, the senator from Chicago, Barack Obama, I covered parts of his campaign. I saw him up close. Uh, and he becomes the president. Uh, this unknown butler in Washington, D.C., who people didn't know about. Eugene Allen, who worked for eight presidents and hadn't been written about. You know, this also enabled me to unravel some of the mysteries of my own family. You know, I, I wrote a book that was as much about a city as it was about uh, family dynamics. You know, and so writing has been the raft that I've gone down the river of life on. Miami gave me my first great epic success story in life. Nobody had ever gone to college. I really wanted to go to college. I didn't want to start college and not finish. And so the goal, the big Rocky Mountain in front of me was, I knew I was starting at the foot of the mountain and I had to get over the peak you know, so that my nieces or nephews or, or younger cousins could look back and say, Will started down there at the, at the base of the mountain. He made it over. So if he made it over, then there is no longer this curse in the family that people have to go and be a waiter or work at a factory. They can get the jobs that reflect the fact that They've gone to college, you know. So that was a big, a big uh, goal, you know. It was the tallest goal up until I stepped on campus that I had ever set out to meet in life. You know, it was this mountain that was Miami University. I had to get over it, and I did.